here we go. I've got a few bombs in here. I have a vampire ring over here that maybe we should go ahead and take to Ginger Island just in case I'm actually able to go ahead and possibly use this uh, to like fuse with another, another type of ring. And then we have more trap bobbers that I'll need to use on those Dorado tomorrow. But for now, let's see, squid ink. For now, I think I want to take over the bombs, a ton of food. Oh, I can put these sunflowers away though. Okay, I'll give those to Leia or something. We don't need to take the sunflowers with us. And otherwise, I think other than grabbing more bombs, I'm ready to go. But all right, hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Leaf Farm here in Stardew Valley where I've got my adorable cat Noodles. Oh, and I need to actually grab Leo's present. The duck feather, the iridium quality duck feather that I want to take him. Ooh, and I wonder if we took the bone sword, if we would be able to like enchant it with something special. And speaking of the enchanting, I wonder, I wonder what type of like stones I should take. Also the skeletal tails. I wonder if the skeletal tail is actually something we can take to the like artifact in the prehistoric rib. I don't know if those are things that we could also give to um, Professor Snail for all of his research too. We'll have to see. And then maybe I should take the taro tubers over to Ginger Island as well because that's where I plan on planting most of them. But maybe for now I'll leave them here. But all right. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to Mossley Farm. We're here on this very rainy day. We are actually getting ready to leave for Ginger Island again. Today is little Leo's birthday and we're going to try very hard to make sure that he has a very nice birthday. I'll just leave these here. I need to go ahead and and water all these plants real quick. Ooh, we've got some fresh corn. And Rowan, good morning, son. I left out some radish salad for you yesterday, but let me go ahead and maybe, should I get a lucky lunch? <gasps> Let's have a lucky lunch to give me more luck inside of the mines. And then what else also has luck? I think one of these, the spicy eel also has luck. Uh, so we'll grab the spicy eel as well. Oh, that's going to be really fun to work with. And then for you, Rowan, my son, what can I go ahead and make you today? Let's actually make him like a fish meal, like the fish taco or something, because I need to have better fishing if we're going to get those Dorado tomorrow. So I have some tuna downstairs, but maybe I have, I think I have some shrimp. All right, let me check my fish bucket. I'm pretty sure I have shrimp that we can actually use. This is very important. I have to feed my family before we go away on tropical adventures on tropical islands after all, friends. Apparently I do not have shrimp in there. I could have sworn I had some little shrimp shrimp. Heck. Well, I have a tuna. I know I have at least some tuna, though I hesitate to use the tuna as, uh, do I have a lot of them? Well, I do have a lot for now. All right. Tuna, you're about to become what is totally cough cough vegan. Um. Vegan versions. Let's get the tortilla and then the fish taco of uh, fish tacos and we'll put that out. We'll grab coffee so that I can go ahead and give Leia some nice fresh coffee to start off her morning. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. And then I'll grab. Oops. All right. Turn one into the triple espresso and then give one to Leia. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. We have to make sure and give Rowan a lot of attention now that we have Clover. We don't want any jealousy between them. Right? Oh, heck. I'm so happy to be raising some kids with you, Leia. But all right. So welcome back, friends. I'm really excited to go and blow things up at the lava dungeon today. So I think we'll be spending most of our time over there. I just need to water my... Ah! Water my pineapple. There we go. I'm always picking that other thing up and I, I'm not trying to. Also, I wonder if this prehistoric scapula is also something I should be taking to Professor Snail. So we'll take all of those today. And let's get out. Let, let's get out of here. Let's go on get. We got places to be. I've got things to blow up. We've got mail. Dear Siri, thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. Yes! No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. Caroline. All right, now we can actually craft our own tea! What? I can make my own tea sapling? Where is it? I want to be able to make my own tea sapling. Oh, and the fairy dust! Sprinkle on kegs, furnaces, and other refining equipment to instantly receive... What? That is so cool. That's the thing that we learned from the pirate's widow. Man, that is so exciting. There it is. 
the tea sapling. So we need any wild seeds. And then five fiber takes 20 days to mature, produces tea leaves during the final week of each season, except in winter. No watering necessary. Wow. So we can make tea. It just is a little bit more time intensive, it sounds like. And then what's this? What's this? Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you this letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back of the Jojo Mart ages ago. Shane, thank you for the pepper poppers, even though they're probably super ancient and a little bit gross, but that's okay. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of bones in my pockets. Let's go grab any bombs that I might want to take with me as well. From over here, I've got a lot of bombs. <laughs> Let me grab these batteries too, so that if we're gonna get more batteries, Roston, you're in the way. From the lightning today, we can snag that. Yeah, okay, I think we're ready to go. Oh, I do wanna take a, not the milk pail, but I wanna take a copper pan. Whoops, and I forgot to unfreeze time. Sorry about that, we left our house, I'm sorry. I try very hard not to do that. Uh, it, it just is an accident, it happens sometimes. Hopefully the Junimo will take care of everything else here. All right, we'll grab the row and I'll sell that. Don't eat it. I do not need to eat it. I need to sell it, but we'll sell it at the other farm and let's get going. Oh yes. Hopefully that hit my lightning rods and let's get going friends. I think we need to wait for Willie to actually like open his shop. So I'm going to try really quickly while we wait to do just a quick bit of fishing and see if I can get a Dorado. Oh, geez. Maybe fishing in the middle of a thunderstorm isn't like the best thing to do, but. And then we're going to go visit Leo and wish him a happy birthday. See if any of these bones appeal to Professor Snail. Oh, oh, oh. this is a Dorado. This is a Dorado. Pretty sure. Because they're, they're like one of the trickiest catches in the river right now. Come on, Gerardo. Aw, oh, man, it's a pike. And my fishing tackle just wore out. What? What kind of nonsense is that? That spooked me. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. All right, come on, Roastone. Willie will probably be ready to man his little boat in just a minute here. You know, I always come off so confident and full of, like, gumption. Like, I've got this. We're organized. I know what we're doing today, friends. And then everything just goes cattywampus. <laughs> but in my defense, what is all this trash doing in here, too? In my defense, I'm trying. All right. I think Willie opens... Oh, my goodness. Who's losing all these glasses? Is there just, like, a glasses factory upriver? Is that how they all get in here? All right. Nope. We'll go ahead and get, cause I just wanted to spend like a quick minute of trying that out just in case we would have any luck. Cause I do want to absolutely do Demetrius's quest. So tomorrow, since we only have like a couple more days and one of those days is actually the Moonlight Jelly Festival left, Tomorrow we will go ahead and spend time getting all of the fish that we can out of the river. And I think Krovis! Krovis, I'm almost out of zip zip zoom energy. But Krovis friend, I think you sell something on Fridays that I really want. Yes, the Iridium Sprinkler! We'll just take this puppy over to... There we go. We'll take the Iridium Sprinkler over to the other farm. Because eventually I'll start, like, farming on that farm, too. Oh, look, the coconut trees are growing! Very slowly, but they're getting there. All right. Willie! No, I don't want to eat this octopus row. Willie! Willie! Oh. Are you open, Willie? Let's get this trash out of here. There we go. All right, and from him... Oh, that's right, we can get the trout soup, too. From you, Willie, I'm going to go ahead and buy... Oh, oh, I wonder if I could actually enchant a Iridium Rod or like give it some sort of upgrades. That's such a cool idea. I need, I need to get more 
prism prismatic shards so that I can put enchanting on my tools and my weapons because that would be really cool to like do special enchantments on my fishing rods heck yeah all right we'll go ahead and sell these fish in that row to him for now we'll take the copper pan and let's get to ginger island I got places to go today Willie ahoy indeed friend but all right, so we'll head straight for Leo to celebrate his birthday. And then we'll take the bones over to Professor Snail. And we'll try to gather ourselves up some more of the golden coconuts today. So that hopefully before the end of the season, we'll be able to invite our friends to come and celebrate. I need 15 more. Oh, 15 is so many. How am I going to get all those? Let's see if the little bird friend has any advice today. All right, there's some fiber there. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Just little bits of fiber. And what does the bird say? Because this guy will give you little hints. Oh, hey, Leo! One time, I was at the top of the volcano at night, and I saw lights far, far away. I wonder if there are other bird families out there. Oh, Leo! Leo, little friend, happy bird day. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. Yes, look at that. We immediately left up to four out of 10 hearts with him. We were at like a one out of 10. I love it. And it was one of his favorites. Yes, okay. So we seem to have developed a better, ooh, ooh. Yay, Leo. We seem to have developed a little bit better of a relationship with him now. Yay, okay, so he is very happy. And let's see if his bird gives us any hints. 12 hidden in the west. So there's 12 more to the west, which is where the farm is. I think that he said four are hidden in the mussels. And we only got two out of the mussels so far. So let's go to the farm. And we'll just check on that. Drop off a few things, like this iridium sprinkler. Oh, hey! <gasps> it's a little Leo event! What's up, buddy? What are you doing, Siri? Just enjoying the waves, looking for fish, thinking about someone special, pondering the big questions. Let's go thinking about someone special, Leo. Maybe about where you came from. You're a special kid, you know? Hmm, I don't understand that yet. Maybe when I become an elder someday. Siri? Tell me about the place you came from, your home. It's a town full of people. There's forests, beaches, and mountains. It's like here, but colder. I live on a farm. There's forest, beaches, mountains. Sounds nice. Are, are there other kids? Yeah. What does that matter to a bird? I know I'm not actually a bird, Siri. Oh! I am like you. But I don't like thinking about it. Because I'm so alone. Leo! With my bird family, I feel like I belong. Oh, Leo! But I don't belong. Oh, can you imagine thinking birds are your family and you can't even fly? I don't belong anywhere. Leo, no, come back! You can move in! Willie, what are you doing here? Have you known about this, Willie? Well, no, his boat was broken. Poor lad. I wonder if there's some way to help. I want to help, Leo! What the heck? You can't just leave me like that and then be like, oh, everything's fine, Siri. Just move on with your life. No, little Leo, he's got problems. He's lonely. We need to help the kid out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. All right, look, I'm going to leave like the wild bait here and the iridium sprinkler. I'm all flustered now because I'm worried about Leo. We'll put this over here. We'll move the copper pan over. And then we'll put down the bombs for later. I have magnet ring and glow ring. I don't know if I need the glow ring when we are actually 
you know, inside of the lava caverns. So I'll leave that over there. Whew. I probably don't need so much food either. So you know what? We'll leave behind a little bit of our food because I probably have much more of it than I actually need. There we go. Better to go ahead and leave some room to be able to dive into the mountains. Oh. I wonder if as we upgrade things, Leo will be able to like relax a little bit more. Maybe, let's get that resort open. Maybe if we get the resort open, then Leo will be able to spend time with other kids. Oh my goodness, I've never felt so motivated about this before. All right, Leo, don't worry. It's your birthday today. We're gonna make dreams come true. We're gonna make it so that hopefully you can visit with other kids. Any more muscles? Dang it. So apparently there's like 14, 14 of the walnuts hidden over here in the west, but it's gonna take me a little bit to figure out where they all are. All right, let's see if maybe we can work with Professor Snail. Oh, another event with Leo! Wow, we just like darted up, ah! Darted up all of his hard events. Sorry. It's hard to remember to talk normally. You think I'm weird, don't you? Not at all. Like, well, a little bit I'm used to it because you, can we squawk loudly back? Let's squawk loudly back. <laughs> You're getting pretty good at that. That was adorable. That's how you should work with kids. Make them laugh. Make them be happy. Sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if I had never washed up on this island. Well, you might be dead, but, you know. Back home, I didn't really care about birds. I never thought to listen what they might be saying. Though, I guess that's normal for normal kids. I wonder what normal kids would have to say about me. Aw, oh, he just wants to fit in. Do you think I could ever be a normal kid again? Yeah. Hmm, I guess you're right. Though living on this island has given me a lot of experiences normal kids would never have. If it weren't for the parrots, who knows what would have happened to me. Oh, I'm happy I met them. I'll always consider them to be my family, even if that makes me a little strange. So what's up, Leo? Anyways, thanks for talking to me, Siri. Maybe someday you can be a part of our family too. I would be happy to be part of your bird family, Leo. Here, let me teach you how to say let's play in Parrot Talk. <laughs> That's really cute. Aww. Well, I hope we're making Leo happy. He seems to be, he seems to be recovering very well, I'd say. Now he's even talking about the birds being more like his, not so directly his family, which is probably good. <gasps> noodle doodles! Oh my gosh, there's so many noodle doodles around here. <gasps> and another golden coconut. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's check on the noodle doodles first. Look, and there's another spot. Oh my gosh, two Omni Geodes, I love it. And here we go! This is why I wanted to go ahead and actually get the pan that we could leave here. Because it seems like there's a lot of panning to do here all the time. So I want to be able to have one that we can leave over here. We'll grab some ginger. And then I'm just going to blow the rest of it all up. Because that'll make it really easy. There we go. That'll make it easy to just harvest this all at once. So let's put these down here. Then pop back up. We can gather what we need. There we go. Alright, did I get anything unusual? I don't think so. But you never know what you might get from breaking some of these sometimes. A lot of bone fragments. Nice, nice. Wait, do I know that bird? Where'd that bird come from? Hang on here. How do you reach that bird? I'm gonna have to investigate. Oh, a fossilized leg! Yes, maybe we can take that to Professor Snail. 
All right, this is what I needed to dig around in the bones for a little bit. Totally the kind of thing you do on a kid's birthday. <laughs> All right, anything else? No. And now the question, this does beg the question of, I see a bird in there. Have I ever looked at, what do you want? Build a trading hut <gasps> for 10 walnuts. Oh, I wonder if the trading hut can help me out with my ostrich egg problem. I have an ostrich egg and I'm pretty sure I can get ostriches, but I need to figure out how. All right, Professor Snail. Oh, so the only thing I can donate is this other leg. Phooey, I was really hoping I'd be able to donate more of these pieces. Ah, now this is truly a fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. Let's see. You know, I bet if you did some panning, you could find some interesting stuff in the nearby river. Thank you, Professor Snail. Unfortunately, I think the only time you can go panning is when there's like a sparkle spot. Prehistoric vertebrae. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't even react. So I think the only time you can go panning is when there's like a sparkly spot there. So it looks like, unfortunately, my best bet for being able to get <laughs> any more of the, um, our lovely, lovely bones and fossils that we might be able to turn in is actually going to be going and getting them manually up in the mountain. So let's go ahead and do this, friends. I'm going to get myself a little zoomy with the triple shot espresso. I don't know how many of the, and then maybe pepper poppers to give me a little extra boost. Maybe a spicy eel. Huh. Let's get deep inside and then we'll talk about working on luck. I don't know how many of the walnuts can actually be found. Oh, what's this? Oh, a bridge. No, no, no. You can, I, I can make my own bridge. Thank you though. All right, let's go. We're gonna go blow some things up and hopefully manage to find. There we go. Hopefully manage to find a lot of good loot. And maybe some, oh, we got another mummified bat. And I'm hoping for some more of the, um, gosh, the journal pages. That's what I'm trying to think about. It's hard to think when you're in the middle of like almost being attacked by things. All right, what do we get from that? Just bone fragments. Okay. I wonder, I know where to go. Come here, you. Get a little closer. Come on, get a little closer. <gasps> a dragon tooth? These are rumored to be the teeth of ancient serpents. The enamel is made of pure iridium. <gasps> That's so cool. I didn't know I could get a dragon tooth from him. Ooh, can I get another prismatic shard from this? Come on. Oh, I lost an iridium ore. How rude. All right. We'll blow a few more up. Yeah, we can actually blow a lot of stuff up without worrying about it. Oh, I made this thing mad. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. <sighs> but I wonder if getting it deeper in would actually help me out with finding the rarer stuff. All right. Come on, things will blow you all up. I will have my Journal shards and other things, please. All right, yeah, blowing things up with the bombs is definitely the best way to do this. Whee! The fire ones are always the hardest. Come here, you. You're, they kind of remind me of the dragons in the Skull Caverns. But I wonder what's gonna happen. Do you think Willie might take little Leo under his wing? <gasps> do you think he might be able to like, give him a home? Willie might adopt his own son or something? I mean, seriously, I could just build a hut for the kid on my island, or like on my farm. He could hang out with my chickens! Maybe all Leo really needs in life is to be able to hang out with the chickens. That might help him out. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Excellent. Excellent. I have drawn the attention of many very sharp flame creatures. 
All right, come here, you. Get a little closer, would you? All right. A lot of... Good, good, good. Some coal. Ooh, what's that? It actually looks like there's some sort of special area. And now that I know these guys drop like dragon fragments, that makes me a little more excited to work with them. But all right, let's come over here. Am I gonna be able to do anything? Because it looks like there's some big bones. And I'm always curious what happens if we follow these bone fragments. Whoa! What is this guy? See what I mean? It looks like there's some sort of dragon just passed out down here. And if we come over, it looks like there's more dragon teeth. Oh, a whole harvest of dragon teeth. This is fantastic. Oh, what's that? Oh my goodness, there's like a really shiny stone thing over here I've never seen before. All right, let's get up here and see what it is. What is this? You're new. It's just like an Omni Geode out in the blue like that. That's really cool. All right, let's keep moving. It definitely helps to be able to make your own little bridge here. Let's see. Whoops, facing the wrong direction. That is not going to help me. I'm really glad those can't knock you like off into the fire because that would be really bad. I might actually have to eat food in just a second here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to drink this. Eat a super meal, just to make sure if we get cornered, I don't pass out. And let's keep going! Hopefully, I'm, I'm thinking we may have used up all of the golden coconuts that I can actually get from like blowing things up in the mines, which makes me more sad than I thought it would, to be honest, because I really like to blow things up in the mines. However, sometimes you just gotta know when you've reached the end of like one avenue and when to head out and try another. All right, whoops. If I could get a little more room, that'd be awesome. I almost blew myself up, that's silly. All right, we'll keep moving. This guy's here. Hello, friend, you still have, I don't have enough cinder, cinder shards for him just yet, but we're getting there. All right, let's keep going. I should have refilled my little, watering can, but that's fine. I am so glad we're so ridiculously rich that we can just like stroll through here dropping bombs like it's nobody's business. Let's see, any other big clusters? Nothing there. All right, let's fight these these guys real quick. All right, come on, give me something big. Give me like a huge cluster of something. I think it's I think this is a, a sign though, guys. I think we may have we may have to just spend some days like fishing because I don't think we actually have any more golden walnuts to be able to get from here. I may have caught all of them that you can find inside the caves. But I'm not gonna give up on maybe finding a journal piece. But actually, I think we're getting really deep in here. I don't remember how many levels there are. Journal piece? No, okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Ah! I've cornered myself. I got a piece of ginger. You know, I haven't found another pineapple since that one time we actually got a pineapple. Oh dear, I'm really burned. I didn't even notice how hurt I was. Okay, that was bad. However, we're on the move again. There's a lot of stuff over there. Hmm. I love how you have to bring your watering can to like put down the lava. Cool. 
Yep, I think this is it. I think this is a way to say that we have gotten all of the coconuts that we can from being able to like pummel around inside of the caves and break open rocks and search through all of the creatures that live here. However, we did just get some dragon. We did just get ourselves a whole bunch of cool dragon teeth, which we've not gotten before. And we are getting more cinder shards. And if I can get all of the cinder shards that we need, then we'll actually be able to go ahead and get ourselves those cool shoes. Whoops. Hitting them with an iridium pickaxe doesn't do much, so noted. All right, come here, you. Come on, come on. I got it. Oh, you little brat, come here. But all right, guys. So actually, I think it's going to be another normal day in the mines at this point. I'm just going to push through here and do some exploring, do some blowing things up. I'll gather up what I can. And if I do stumble on any more walnuts or I do stumble on any more cool resources, like a new, like the dragon's teeth, which are totally new, then I will share them with you for sure. But otherwise, we'll go ahead and tomorrow will be the quest for the Golden Dorado as we push ourselves back out to the river. Oh, this is exciting being up in the... the I love I love being in the dungeons. All right, get out of here. Go on, get... All right, there's a lot of fire guys here. I may have some trouble soon. Okay, phew. All right, uh, I don't want spicy eel. I want the pepper poppers. Feed me the pepper poppers. Actually, I think I wanted the super meal, but that's fine. <laughs> but all right, so I'm going to keep fighting these guys. Hopefully not fight them to like the end days of my doom. Hopefully find some more journal pieces. And then when we come back next time, we're actually going to be on the quest for the golden Dorado. Trying to gather up enough of those that we can impress Demetrius with our wonderful skills related to researching the natural ecosystems of Stardew Valley. So all right, friends, if you guys could, do please leave me a like for the hopes that I'll be able to make it through this battle unscathed. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. When is attacking me?